In a city in crisis, the Baltimore Police Commissioner says more positions will be civilianized as part of the effort to address BPD's staffing crisis. Alexa Ashwell looked into the potential impact to public safety and has more tonight on those concerns. According to a law enforcement expert, there's a lot of red tape involved in this, so it's no quick fix. But overall, putting more officers on the streets should have a positive impact on public safety. A growing staffing crisis. The Baltimore Police Department now 600 officers short. Over the radio, Commissioner Rich Worley just revealing a startling statistic he says is on the horizon. We are going to be under 2,000 police officers within the very near future. Staffing, the number one concern Judge James Bradar brought up during last week's consent decree hearing. The commissioner then acknowledging the crisis, calling it a nationwide problem. Worley detailing recruitment has continued with 18 more officers hitting the streets in the coming months and about a half dozen other officers coming out of retirement, an offer he plans to extend to others. Worley also adding more positions will be civilianized. We put out a memo that these positions are going to be civilianized with specific job titles. Um, probably the most, the, the one that's going to come first is going to be towards the end of the year when we have the uh, district um, report auditors that are going to end up being uh, pretty much eliminated and a couple other positions that are going to be eliminated to try to get more police and not only just get them in patrol, but to get uh, professional members into those positions and have our officers out doing actual police work. Civilianization will only positively impact public safety. Law enforcement expert Jason Johnson, who once served as a deputy commissioner for the department, believes it's the right move. It pushes more police officers out of administrative roles that they shouldn't be in and out to frontline law enforcement position. But Johnson added it's no quick fix and there will likely be bureaucratic limitations with the risk of funding potentially going elsewhere. They could reprogram those funds and use them however they want across the city budget. Simply getting the funding and getting the authorization from City Hall to be able to fill those positions is what the challenge is. And so if that can be overcome, I do think it's a it's a great idea and it's a it's a great way to respond to um, you know the staffing issue that the BPD faces. While we don't know if that will happen, included in the mayor's crime fight, we have safe streets under Monsi as well as the 911 diversion program. Program, just a few examples to name. Reporting in downtown Baltimore, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.